No one can deny the importance of computational chemistry. If you are a chemist, a physicist, or you are a biologist, you need computational chemistry. Now, what computational chemistry is? What theoretical chemistry is? What is the difference between computational and theoretical chemistry? What is the importance of computational chemistry? What is the limitation of computational chemistry? And there are a lot of things we will talk about and we will discuss and we will explain in this course. My name is Ali Sudes. I'm a computational chemist. I'm working in Dr. Khurshid Ayub's research group and we work on many different projects. I will cover three things in this course. Why computational chemistry? What to calculate in computational chemistry? And how to calculate in computational chemistry? The first, why? And why you knew you know that if you want to know about the properties of a compound if you want to know the full properties of something you must 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 know about its structure so we will know about the geometry or geometry of a compound it means that you can know about the properties of that compound easily number one number two we'll talk about what to calculate what to calculate so in the what we will discuss about the first thing and the very basic is PES diagram. PES means potential energy surface diagram. In the potential energy surface diagram, we will talk about the global minima, the local minima, we will talk about the stationary points, we will talk about some other points which are called saddle points. If you know about all the stationary saddle points, it means you can know about the stationary points are the stationary points are used for the transition states. Now, if you have a compound, if you want to do a reaction, if you want to do a reaction, definitely you need the reaction mechanism. For reaction mechanism, you need all those saddle points or stationary points where they are, what is their energy, where is their stability, and how can we go through this reaction so definitely you know you 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 need this point okay so what we'll do do we will we will cover three things number first thing we will cover is the energy number second number two gradient number three the force field so we will talk about the force field how the force field is calculated why is calculated if you know about the PS you know you can know about the optimization and you know what the first the first step in every calculation is optimization of that, that compound. When you optimize, you can know about the real structure or almost the real structure of that compound. So therefore, optimization is very, very much important. And for that, you need the force field. The second derivative, second derivative and about the optimization. Now, we, we, we calculate that like, like how to calculate how and you know this is a very interesting point like when you when we go from the why then to the what and then how so when we will we reach to the how keep remember first we will start from the very basics very basics to go to the very high level and you will able to know about all the softwares you will know about all the methods you will know about all the basis sets inside you keep remember first thing is the software what kind of software should you use number one number second then which method is suitable for these calculations number three which basis set is 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 suitable for these calculations do you remember? So three things. The first thing is the method, which is the basic point for every researcher, for every computational chemist, or for every computational scientist. Number second thing is the software and the basis sets. Okay? If you know about these three things, it means you can be a very expert of the computational science. Okay? For example, there are different processes. You go through different different methods of computational chemistry. So you go from the very cheap, which is less accurate, to a very expensive. It means that very 
accurate. Like you go from a very cheap to a very accurate. It means, for example, you want to you want to do something very accurately. Definitely, you will use AB initial. If you want to do something like less accurate, you will do semi empirical studies. And if you want to do with less accuracy, it means you will do the molecular mechanics. The molecular mechanics. If you do the molecular mechanics that uses classical mechanics. If you want to do this, it means then you will rely on empirical force fields without accounting for electronic properties. It means it depends on what kind of calculations do you want. So you need that kind of software, that kind of method, that kind of basis set, etc. So it means that we will go from a very low level to a very high level and uh, we will talk about how this, this reaction can happen or if you want to do something on a very small computer, if you want to do on a moderate server, if you want to do on a supercomputer. So if you, if, you, if you know about these things, it means you can do any research project. So if you are interested in this course, keep in touch with me and I will tell you each week, I will give you a new video with full detail. And you know what? Talk about every single point, one by one, one by one, easily. I will not go very fast. I will not go to very high level directly. But when once we just go from these basic levels to a high level, then we will talk about different projects, how to how to, if you, if you design the project, then you need the method and calculations and then you need the computer. What kind of computer do you need? So it means I will talk about everything and you can also be in touch with me and you can also par participate with me if you are a computational chemist or you are interested in computational chemist. So there are two things. One is, one is Abbey Nishu which uses the quantum mechanics. The other is molecular mechanics which uses the classical mechanics. Like we will talk about these two. Okay. For organic molecules, and for organic molecules, like you need the, the commonly used force fields, commonly used field force like MM2, MM3, MM4, etc. Peptides, proteins, and nucleic acids. Then when you need the amber and you need the charm, you need MMFF94. So the amber is, if you want to talk about the amber, the amber is assisted model building with energy refinement. Charm is the chemistry at Howard molecular modeling and if FF94 molecular mechanics force field if you if you also think that computational chemistry is very difficult then keep in touch with me and you can know that really computational chemistry is difficult or this was just a hallucination of me so we will discuss the computational chemistry from the very basic to a very high level and then we will i will i will tell you about the different projects which are nowadays the people do in pakistan the people do in asia the people do in europe and the people do in america the people do in china and the people do in korea so we will talk about all the projects and all the sites and different things and maybe one day you will tell me that oh yeah i know i know how people do work in computational chemistry so see you soon with a new video